Hello guys and welcome back, welcome back to Dylan's Little Hobbies and in today's video we are going to be reviewing none other than Thor. So for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a huge Marvel fan. I know it doesn't really show, it shows me more as a Star Wars fan back there, but you can see an Iron Man comic book right there above me. Yes, I am indeed a huge MCU fan. I really don't know much of the comic books, but I do know most of the movies. Now, when the movies first started coming out, I obviously did not have a YouTube channel. So I decided, you know what, let's go back. Let's go back and actually give my thoughts about the entire MCU. And in today's video, we are going to review none other than Thor. Yes, the first Thor movie. Now, what can I say about Thor? Obviously, it has great music, it has funny moments, it has great humor, and it's a great mix of humor and um, story. And I mean, Marvel has always done very well. In fact, in my opinion, I really think that Thor might have been their first big hit that was probably perfect between both humor and action and um, drama and, you know, uh, the dark story. Like, Thor is the perfect mix of everything of that. And I feel like um, a after the first Thor movie, every other movie that they've done was basically them testing the limits of this ratio from Thor because Iron Man, uh, the Hulk movie especially, but Iron Man 2, I, I really feel like they didn't have the ratio correct in those movies even though I love those movies. And I mean even in Captain America, I, I really feel like it was Thor that was the first movie that was probably Marvel's perfect and I mean absolutely perfect mix of humor and of course action drama the story how dark the story goes Thor is that perfect mix and I really feel like the first Avengers movie um, is a lot like that too now what can I say about the first Thor movie that so many people haven't said before. Well, I have a bit of a surprise for you. So I love this movie, right? Um, it's way better than the Hulk movie. And sure, okay, it's better than Iron Man 2. Even though I love Iron Man 2. In fact, I just love Iron Man. I will say this is probably a better film than Iron Man 2. Okay, okay. But, it might surprise you that I love all of the characters throughout this movie, except Thor? Wait, what? Let me explain, let me explain. So when it comes to the character of Thor, I just find he's too arrogant. And I don't mean like... Like, that's great. That's part of his story. That's part of his character development. He starts out very, very stupidly arrogant and becomes someone you can really stand behind. You know, it's great. But I'm just going to be honest with you. I've never liked how arrogant this guy is. Like, I've never, like, Thor... If um if there was somebody like Thor, if there was somebody that arrogant to me that was around me, I would walk away and not turn back. And I don't care how well, um, like, like he would really have to change. I would have to see on the news that he would become a hero like Thor for me to turn around and uh, say anything to that guy because... I don't like arrogant. I really don't like how arrogant Thor is in this movie. In fact, I think out of all of the characters in this movie, Thor is my least favorite character of the movie. That's right. 
I think a better character than Thor is Loki. I really like Loki in this movie. I prefer Loki in this movie. In fact, Loki is at his best mostly in the first Avengers movie, but this is a great Loki. I mean, so the movie starts out basically with um, Thor's father explaining to Thor and his, uh, his brother Loki, of course, about the tales of old, you know? And then it cuts to Thor becoming king, possibly. Only then, um, then the ice giants attacked. And it's later revealed that Loki was the one that helps them get through, you know? And, and I really like Loki, you know? Loki being the, the uh, god of mischief, but kind of out there for himself. But I really feel like, especially with Loki the show, that all he really wanted at the end of the day was just some simple respect from not only his father, but more so his brother. And I feel like in Thor Ragnarok, he finally, finally gets that. There's a lot of payoff with both Thor, but mostly Loki. Out of the Thor movies, Loki is actually my favorite character. Now, when it comes to the other characters in this movie, they're they're great. I I really like all of uh, the humor that that like um, Darcy gives, Thor's girlfriend gives. You know, I really like the story that they came up with here. I just feel like Thor. I I don't like Thor that much. Not in this first movie. I like the movie itself, but I think Thor to me, is a better character in the first Avengers movie. He's a better character in Thor 2, which I know, Thor the Dark World, we'll get into that in a later video. And I feel like he's a better character throughout the rest of the uh, series. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the first Thor movie, I don't feel like Thor is my favorite character in the movie. You know, I, I don't like how arrogant he is. That That's my biggest thing about him. And, and I don't like how, how it takes so long for him to um, uh, overcome his arrogance, to learn that that's why uh, he can't use the hammer, you know? Like, he honestly thinks that the very second he's going to go back and grab that hammer, that he's just going to become Thor again. And, and of course, that's where that's where he has his lowest points, and then he finds out that Loki is the one that betrayed all of them, and his father is in pretty much a coma, and this is when Thor stands up to Loki, uh, uh, really a big gigantic monster, but it was being controlled by Loki. He stands up to him, and he becomes the hero that we know Thor to become. It's a great story. I just feel like I prefer Iron Man's story. Iron Man was arrogant as well. He was a rich jerk. And I just like how the character develops within that first movie. I like Captain America. You know, how weak he was and how uh, uh, all he wanted to do was become a hero. And that's what he did, you know, and he wasn't, he wasn't scared of practically anything, he knew what to do, that, that's someone you could really look up to, Captain America really is exactly what you think about when you think about, you know, America, which is the state I come from, I'm very patriotic, which is why I love Captain America the movie. Thor? Thor is a different type of arrogant and it takes it takes so much longer. He's more of a meathead. He's not a brain uh, he's not the brains like um Tony Stark is, you know? And I just feel like I relate more to Tony Stark than Thor itself. But those are my thoughts about Thor. The movie itself, fantastic. I love the story they came up with. Thor the character I feel like this is his weakest, weakest movie. That's right. 
Thor The Dark World is better than the original Thor. In terms of Thor the character, not in terms of the movie itself. This is better than Thor The Dark World, obviously. But in terms of the character of Thor, I don't like him in the first movie. I'd much rather prefer him in the Avengers movie, Thor The Dark World, and I think he shines, really, in Thor Ragnarok. And don't forget about um, uh, Infinity War. I think Infinity War is where I become, where I start to uh, really like Thor. You know. But let me know down in the comments below your thoughts about Thor. Thank you guys for watching, and I am out. Bye.